I really don't want to talk. Then just listen. I know it's been a strange day. It's been a strange year. Remembering all the things that have happened don't since Kyle's been with up. us, and knowing he's connected to Jesse in some way, and the trouble that's down. caused us. I just want to tell all of you that I'm sorry. You're sorry? What for? I'm the one that brought them both into this house. That's not your fault. I was just so taken with Kyle, and I... I accepted things that didn't make sense. And I allowed wanting to protect him to come between us. I am so sorry, Stephen. Hey. It's okay. We can get through anything. Remember? <laughs> Was it really true? This isn't one of those group hug moments, is it? Josh, you were right before. I was? When we said we didn't know who Kyle really is. We know who he is. He's part of our family. When he comes back, he'll explain. So does that mean you're not going to call the cops? Hopefully I won't have a reason to. So what do we do now? We wait for Kyle to come home. Communicating with you? I think he's trying, but I'm not getting it. Will you help me? I don't know how. Don't be afraid. In your mind and focus. I needed to know why our journey had led us here, hoping Adam would guide us forward. I cleared my mind and opened my heart, trying to connect with him, strengthening the pathway with Jesse's help. While focused on Adam, I felt all the barriers between us slip away. Then a powerful exchange of energy as Jesse reached into my mind and connected with me. Kyle, stop. She's betrayed you. Wouldn't that save you? 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 Wouldn't that save you?